So Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is the next game coming out for the Call of Duty franchise and um, it's gonna be released on October 12th. It's probably the only surprising news I got from the whole thing. Cause I know people were like, oh Black Ops 4 that's the original name, you know blah blah and I was thinking like, they haven't changed their names in the past three releases for Treyarch. I mean Black Ops 1 and then there was Black Ops 2 and you guys want to know the third one? Black Ops 3! Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is the official name for the next Call of Duty game and uh, you guys already know what I think about the whole Call of Duty franchise right now. I pretty much stepped away and I kind of am retired from the franchise and uh, you know it kind of it sucks though because my whole thing here in YouTube was for me to help out people in the game so it, I kind of feel empty for not doing that over like already two years now so Probably Black Ops 4 will bring me back to it because I know how Treyarch is, you know, they have good intentions for their franchise and they always come up with new ideas. I mean, they came up with theater mode, they came up with, uh, you know, with the specialist. I, I miss the freaking specialist, to be honest, man. I, I miss running around with a flamethrower or just shocking everyone with flames or uh, throwing around beehives. That's just such innovation right there, man. I don't know why Treyarch hasn't taken over. Or why even Vonderhaar hasn't gotten promoted. But instead we got Michael Condry over there. Who can't even release the paint shop yet. In World War II. So um, it's kind of weird. To be honest. How Michael Condry got the uh, promotion instead of Vonderhaar. Um, anyways. Uh, Black Ops 4. I think it's going to be a modern game. A long time ago it was announced by Timor and LEA. And several of the Activision bootlickers. Uh, that they were looking for a guy who was an expert on modern weapons. It was announced a long time ago. I'm not sure when they uploaded the video, but I think it was like around January or something like that where they went You know these guys go go behind the scenes all the time They go into the HQ of Activision so they know what's up So when they not start announcing that you know some guys like an expert in modern weapons It's gonna be a modern game. So that's a good thing though At least we're still staying in boots on the ground and uh, I know it hasn't been confirmed yet but hopefully it is though because uh you know, I didn't do as bad as people think, because I know I keep, you know, straying away from Black Ops 3 and all, but, uh, to be honest, in Black Ops 3, I did achieve my first ever 100 kills in a single gameplay, and that was in Ground War. And I know I put the game down a lot, but the thing is, I wanted how it was, you know, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, running around with my MP7, rushing around, boots on the ground, man, that's how it's supposed to be, and hopefully it is like that, so that's what I'm wishing for for Black Ops 4. Now... There is one game mode that hopefully, hopefully does not get scratched off because I know what happened in Call of Duty World War 2 and that's one of the main reasons, actually one of the biggest main reasons why I hate Call of Duty World War 2, it did not have Ground War. <laughs> so if they were to return Ground War into Black Ops 4, I will be so happy and man you will see me do some best class setups like crazy left and right do some gameplays and all that stuff so it's like kind of me like going back into my you know good old days of Call of Duty so um hopefully they do bring back ground war because you know most of my best gameplays here on YouTube were actually in ground war modern warfare 3 black ops 2 black ops 1 most of my gameplays are actually from Ground War. Most of my gameplays in Black Ops 3 were from Ground War. So, I don't know why would they take it off in Call of Duty World War 2, but let's just hope they don't focus a lot on esports. Because, you know, you guys saw that in Call of Duty World War 2. Literally, go into Theater More right now, and you, the first video you'll see is an esports video in Call of Duty World War 2 and I'm thinking like they're focusing already into that genre again into that freaking mode you know we don't we're not interested in that we're interested in the fun and that's what they're forgetting about so hopefully they do bring back fun in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 because if they don't then I might as well just skip another year of Call of Duty until they make a right one for me <laughs> so I know a lot of people out there enjoy 6v6 and search and destroy but for me that is my weakness actually um, I just want ground war back and I know people are gonna be saying like oh why don't you just play battlefield blah 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 look man I'm not looking for a game where everybody camps in a fucking tank I'm looking for a game that brings the chaos 9 versus 9 exploit those freaking sound whores because I know what they do in 6v6 they just camp in a corner and wait for you to pass by and they have those expensive ass headsets and they'll listen to your footsteps and that's how they win every single time in 6v6 I've seen it and I, you guys have seen it also in some of my live streams too so uh, in my only Call of Duty World War 2 live stream actually so um so yeah, that's all I'm worried about, Black Ops 4, no ground war, sound horse, and uh, let's just hope 
they just bring in the fun. That's all I'm hoping for this game, man. Bring in the badass kill streaks. Bring in, bring in all the guns, man. Stop doing this DLC bull crap on loot boxes. Hopefully they do change that stuff up. And bring in back the specialists, please, specialists. Man, I missed them. So that is it. Leave a like on the video, guys. Got any opinions about Call of Duty Black Ops 4? You know, let me know in the comment section. I'll read them later. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more videos like this. Oh,